There are two primary different ways that we can collect data. One is through observation, and the other is through experiments. The main difference between these two uh, is the role of the researcher. When collecting observational data, the role of the researcher is just to record the results. So things like surveys would count as observational. Things like uh, measuring speed in traffic would be an observation. Even something like a measuring lung capacity in smokers would be considered an observation. We're looking at who a situation that's that's occurring and just recording the results of what's going on. What's different when we're looking at an experiment is that the role of the researcher is to assign a treatment to a group. In our experiments, we're always recording the results, just like what we do with an observation. We still record the results. But the difference is that we've assigned an, a, treat, a treatment to a group and then measure what those results or changes are. So for example, uh, for an experiment, you might uh, ask a group to do jumping jacks and then measure their heart rate. In an example like this, the researcher has assigned a group something to do. That This group is going to do jumping jacks and then we're going to do a measurement. This is different than measuring lung capacity in smokers, for example, over here. I'm not going to choose a group and tell them to smoke and then measure their lung capacity. That's not ethical, right? So instead, what we have to do is we have to collect people who already smoke and then do that. Uh, and then just do measurements or observations of what they're of what of what's occurred. So the researcher again here is just looking at particular groups. Here they're assigning a group to actually do something and then do a measurement in order to be able to um, to categorize that. Uh, 